It's time for another Vintage TV and Radio video, and today we're featuring the Contact 5-inch color TV with AM FM radio, the model KRB1541. Found this in town. Some guy had a bunch of stuff in a bunch of storage lockers, and I uh, bought this and, and an old camcorder for about 35 bucks. What's unique about this one is it's, it's uh, color and uh, very um, kind of unusual to see a color TV with this size screen and the portability that it had. This is the front panel, obviously the front of the TV. And I'll zoom it just a little bit here if I can show you the uh, front panel. Gives you the UHF and VHF channel range. Also the AM and FM channel range. There are separate controls for the TV and for the radio tuning. On the right side you have your on-off switch and volume control, the band select for the TV, VHF low, VHF high, and UHF, and then the function, either FM, AM, or TV, plus an earphone plug. Here's a look at the back of the television. This gives you quite a few options as far as uh, what you can do with uh, this monitor. You can have audio and video come out of the monitor or go into the monitor. That's where you can use it for video games and such. Plus on this side there are terminals for the UHF and VHF television, external or internal. I've got uh, one of those little converter things on there. Also this TV came with the optional AC adapter which plugs into the AC adapter plug right here. Otherwise it runs on on batteries. Here's a look at the underside of the television radio. This is a battery compartment where you can fit a whopping 10 D-cell batteries to uh, power the thing. And over here on the left side of the TV there's a little compartment which when I open it shows you a number of different uh, basic color TV controls uh, brightness, color, tint, contrast, and vertical hold, and degaussing, which uh, I don't know much about this, but I believe it has something to do with uh, your monitor getting uh, messed up with too much magnetic energy, and it basically erases all that and gets it back to normal again. All right, now that I've shown you around the, uh, the television and all the different things it can do, let's see if it works. I have uh, this television hooked up to uh, a digital uh, TV antenna. Here's the uh, digital to analog box. Cable goes to a matching transformer on top which is screwed into the terminals for the uh, VHF TV antenna, external antenna. So I'm going to turn the power on. From first we're to check the AM and FM on this and see if they work. So I Put the setting for FM on the side here and I've got the volume on. Let's see if I can tune in the radio station here. And there we are. Okay. Looks like we can get uh, at least a couple stations down here on FM. So that works pretty well. How about uh, the AM? Our odds of getting anything on the AM band are pretty slim, but you never know. Probably just going to get a lot of noise like this. Yeah, not a whole lot to choose from around here for AM radio anyway. So that's that. Now let's look to TV. Okay, here's something here. Well, what do you know? Look at that. This is coming off the digital antenna through the analog converter. 
into the back. I'll store it in one of my barns. See if I can zoom in a little bit here for you. Because I'm interested in your daughter. 50-50 split or no deal. Looks like it's an episode of The Office. <laughs> I'm going to sneak over the top here and try to adjust the tint a little bit here and the color. That must be contrast or brightness. There is tint. Color. Brightness. There's a brightness. So this is looking pretty good here. Not a bad picture. Let's see what else we can find on this. Okay. And I think there's only one more channel we can get. I think this, this is the two here. Yep. So there you have it. We have a working unit, and it looks pretty darn good. Once again, this is the Contech model KRB1541, made probably in the mid to late 80s. Found it through a, a person who had it in a storage unit in, in town here. Pay, paid about 15 bucks for it. Thanks for watching. Like if you like, comment if you want to make a comment. Subscribe to the channel. We'll have more videos coming up. I've got a lot more stuff to show you. So uh, be sure and subscribe and we'll chat with you next time.